No matter how small that step will be, no matter what disasters and obstacles step in your way, no excuses. Commit this to yourself. This is your life we're talking about. Nothing is more important. Make a commitment to go 100% all in. If I'm tired, no excuses. I will still do one thing. If I don't feel like it, no excuses. I will do one thing. No excuses. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we get this thing started in about the next two minutes. My name is Julian Kushner. I am excited. I am ecstatic. I am fired up to give you guys the seven-figure mentorship call tonight to really be hosting this call breaking down some strategies, giving you guys some nuggets so you guys can dominate this week and dominate this year, guys. So promote, promote, promote. Make sure your entire team is on this call. Guys, I'm telling you, growth comes when you make the commitment, make the sacrifice. So get your team on this. Make sure they're all plugged in. On itself until one day you don't even recognize the person you see in the mirror. The changes can be that great. But only if you make the commitment, are you prepared to make that commitment? Make a commitment to go 100% all in. It's the little details that count. That one little bit extra, repeated time after time. That extra hour, the extra reps, the extra little bit of effort. That little extra with consistency adds up to a massive difference. Let's get it, y'all. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Two minutes. Two minutes. And we kick this call off. Make sure your team is on this call. Let's go. If you guys can hear me, if you guys can hear me loud and clear, just drop a one in the chat box. Just let me know you guys can hear me clear. Let's go. Let's go. Will Simon, we got, what do we got in here? Where, where y'all coming in from? Where y'all coming in from? Let's get it. Atlanta, NYC, Cali, South Dakota, Austin, Texas. We get this thing started. We get this thing kicked off in one minute. One minute. Trinidad, Cali, Dallas. Let's go. Let's go. Make sure every, everybody's on this call, guys. Make sure your team is on this call. I'm excited. I'm fired up. As you can hear, I got the... Got the got the tunes behind me. Got the got got the motivation, man. We got to just continue the motivation, right? And take that motivation and let's apply it. Let's apply it this week. Let's apply it this month. Let's apply it this year. Stop sleeping. Start trading. Hit chairman. Hit your goals. All right. We got Louisiana. We got we got we got Ghana. We got Queens. Yes, 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 yes. First of all. I'm going to get this thing kicked off. First of all, I want to say I love you guys. I appreciate all of you guys for hopping on this thing, for hopping on the seven-figure mentorship call Sunday night, taking your time out of your schedule, out of your trading schedule. I know the market's just opened up. Some of you guys want to get the trading. So I'm going to really go over some key information tonight, some key strategies, some key tactics uh, tonight. So make sure you have your notebook. Make sure you have your pen. Make sure you guys are taking notes, all right, because money makers – all right. <laughs> note takers are money makers. All right. M note takers are money makers. So let's get it. First of all, for those of you guys that do not know me. I, so my name is Julian Cushion. I'm a chairman 50 closing in on chairman 100 closing on chairman 100. But this call is not about me. This call is about you guys. Uh, been in iMarkets Live about 17 months, almost 17 months. Been in the trading space now almost four years. You know, so I've seen it. I've seen the good, the bad, the ugly you know, of this, uh, of the industry and of the, uh, of trading out there. And I do believe we have the best company in the industry. If you guys believe we have the best company in the industry, just drop a two, two, two. I'm actually going to send this to Mr. Chris Terry as well. I know he's going to appreciate this. Hey, they all think we have the best trading company in the industry. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, Chris. 85,000 customers strong. We're going for a million customers. Oh, man. Oh, man. We're going we gonna to break Zoom tonight. <laughs> let's, let's get it, y'all. Awesome. 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 So I know we're, we're gearing up for an incredible year, guys, an incredible 2019. Um, I truly believe it's your year. You know, it's your year if you make the, make the decision, all right, and 
you know, you guys hop on every Sunday night, right? Seven, seven figure mentorship calls. You guys hop on IML TV. You hop on some of these webinars. And I'll tell you, some of you guys are like, oh, but I hear some of the same information from different people. I'll tell you guys, I've learned from mentors. The more I learned, the more I listened, the more I was able to duplicate, right? So I heard the same thing over and over and over again. But guess what? I was able to duplicate. And of course, there's new strategies, new tactics. But again, when you hop on the next IML TV session, you know, you might hear the same thing again. Just make sure you truly hear it. You truly take it and you truly apply it. Seven figure mentorship call. It's going to be next Sunday as well. Make sure you take the information and you apply it, right? No matter who's saying it, no matter what's what's being said, everybody that you that you're hearing from, all right, has made it is it, full time. All right. Everybody that you're hearing from on the seven figure mentorship call has gone full time, is full time in their business, full time traders. Um, they're really seeing success. OK, so I'm going to dive right into it tonight for all of you guys. I actually have a PowerPoint. Some of you guys know my PowerPoints. Um, let's see. Go full screen. If this is full screen, just let me know this is full screen, guys. I want to make sure it's full screen for you guys. Let's see. Is it full screen? Is it full screen? Okay, good. Awesome. 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 Let's get it. So tonight, it's all about believing and having your breakthrough. Believing and having your breakthrough. And the reason why I'm going to go over breakthrough is because breakthrough in my business helped me make multiple seven figures in this industry. A breakthrough in my business and as an entrepreneur helped me be able to do so much, all right, in this industry, so much with networking, so much with attracting like minds, so much with attracting even billionaires into my circle, like Richard Branson, which I've, I've been mentored by with, with Diddy. You guys know Pete Diddy, like attracting those type of people. And I tell you guys that because if I would have been in the same position I was, the same mindset that I was back when I was even 17, 18 years old, I wouldn't be speaking to you guys today. I wouldn't be on the Zoom today. I wouldn't be speaking on stages. I wouldn't be going to Columbia tomorrow to do a two-week tour, right? So you guys need to have your breakthrough, okay? You guys must have your breakthrough, okay? Let me see why this is not, let's see. Okay, here we go. Actually, enter full screen, boom, boom, boom. Awesome. So your breakthrough, okay? Define your breakthrough, okay, in this business. Now, for me, Okay, for me, my back was against the wall. You know, about eight years ago, my back was was against the wall. You know, I got kicked out of college, fired from every job I ever had. Actually, came down here to South Florida, working at a call center, smiling and dialing. Some of you guys know my story, but I was actually fired from that job. And at that point, I had my breakthrough because there was no going back. There was no asking for that job again, right? It was either make entrepreneurship work, make network marketing work, or go back to work. And I was not going back to work. So I was at this point that everything snapped. You know, I, I truly believe you can have somewhat success if you're comfortable, but you're in this business, you're trying things out, you're working the business sometimes, you're trying to hop on IML TV, you're trying to recruit some people, you can have some kind of success. To have massive success, to hit chairman, to become a top trader, everything must snap, right? You must go, listen, no more, right? I'm not taking this anymore. I'm not taking this, you know, I, I, you know everything that's happen, happening to you, you know, like the snap of a finger, things change and you go all in, right? So my back personally was against the wall when I got fired from that job. All my family was against me. Uh, a lot of doubters, a lot of skeptics, people were like, oh, I told you so. We told you so, you know, things weren't going to work. That network marketing thing wasn't going to work. That job's not even, not even going to work out for you. What are you doing with your life? People were questioning what I was doing with my life. Little did they know that that, that happening to me set me on fire, set me on fire. It, the inner fire was created at the ripe age of 18 years old. Thank God I had it at 18 years old, right? That set me on fire because if that wouldn't happen to me, if, if me getting fired from a job didn't happen to me, maybe it would have never happened. Maybe I, I would have gone in my 20s, 30s, 40s, and I would have never had my breakthrough. So that was a breaking point. Now, I don't, I'm not telling you guys you need to get fired from a job. 
or you need to drop out of college or get kicked out of college. Don't do that. But find something in your life emotionally to attach, uh, to attach on to. Find something when you wake up every morning, when, before you go to bed that you can look at, that you can, excuse me, attract to emotionally and say, this is why I grind. This is why I do what I do. When you guys find that, things will change. When you guys find that, things will change. So some pictures here. You can get motivated by lifestyle, right? That can be your breakthrough. You know, seeing that, you know, back in college, I saw a BMW M3 drive past my dorm all the time. Now, it wasn't my ultimate breakthrough, but I was like, man, that is a beautiful car right there. The beautiful exhaust, the beautiful sound. I want that in my life. I, I got a picture. I got a poster. I started manifesting. I put it on my wall. I said, you know, one day I'm going to have that car. I see it go by every day, every day, every day. So yes, lifestyle is going to maybe temporarily motivate you, get you in action saying, hey, listen, David Amonitie, <laughs> the man just bought a beautiful Rolls Royce, Jason Brown, all right, Jason Brown and Matt Rosa. Okay, Jason Brown's actually texting me right now, but Jason Brown and Matt Rosa just bought Lambos. J Jason Brown was delivering pizzas a couple of years ago. Imagine Jason, if he took his Lambo out for a pizza delivery run, that, that would be hilarious. Matt Rosa in his, you know, Lamborghini Urus, amazing SUV Lambo. So these guys picked up their Lambo. That wasn't initial motivation, right? Maybe they're motivated, but from their work, right? They create that breakthrough. Now, now they're driving in their dream car, right? So you see this happening to people in IML. You see this happening to entrepreneurs all over. Your family could be your breakthrough. Seeing your family, knowing that there's a better life, you know, for your family. So really attach emotionally. Some of you guys know this stuff. Some of you guys are trading or in this business because you guys want to have your breakthrough, these things that I'm sharing on the screen are definitely things you guys think about. But again, you know, just say this to you guys yourself tonight, tomorrow, the rest of this week. I must emotionally attach to something in order to have my breakthrough. I must go through something in order to have my breakthrough. No looking left, no looking right, no looking back. You got to make this thing happen. All right, next is your belief level, your belief level in yourself your belief level in this industry, your belief level in trading, your belief level must increase, all right? You must believe in the business like you believe in your voice when you're singing in the, sh singing in the shower. Even though, you, even though you might sound horrible, you're singing, you're believing, you're singing your favorite song, right? You're excited, right? You're excited. I know some of you guys sing in the shower. You guys definitely think you sound like American Idol, like, you know, top, top, Singer, you know, which we, which we don't. Honestly, we probably don't. But OK, so you must believe in your business like you believe in your favorite song. You go to a concert, listen to your favorite artist. Right. You know, the lyrics, you know, the lyrics, of that song, every lyric. Some people are like living, walking karaoke machines like they're walking around, but they can they can recite every lyric, to every single song from Drake, from this person, from that person. Right. Look, look at this. Look, look at this guy. Green Bay Packers. Right. He's representing his team. He believes in his team. He might be losing. Looks like he's losing in that in that photo. Looks like he's not doing too hot. His team's not 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 doing too hot. He's in like the, the crowd of uh, Broncos, Broncos fans. But he's still amongst everything. He still believes. He's still wearing it. He hasn't taken his jersey off. He hasn't thrown his hat down the field. He's still wearing his wearing his gear proud, hoping for a better day, hoping for a better play. Right. So you guys must believe in your business. Some people know their sports players, sports statistics. Uh, player statistics for their rushing yards, you know, how many passes, how many goals, etc. But you don't know the stats in your business. You don't know the stats in your life. You don't know how to get the chairman. You don't know how to, you know, look at a trend, analyze a, a trade, see if it's a good trade. You don't know those stats, right? Something has to change. Okay. Also getting into data, you know, I, I, I don't, I like data, but I also like telling stories around data because, hey, listen, at the end of the day, a lot of you guys probably won't remember this data. Take a screenshot of this. Understand this because you guys can utilize this as tools to share. If you're above 30, let's just say you're not in college or, or you know, you're not a millennial. Guess what? You can share. You want to build a millennial team? You can share this data with millennials. This might scare millennials. Millennials might be, you know, you know, in this tunnel vision of college, go to, go to school, get good grades, get that, you know, dream job, but they don't even know the data, right? Look at this. 
one in four millennials with $30,000 in debt expect to take 20 plus years to pay it off. Guys, those numbers right there will scare people, will scare people in the fact that some people will never get out of debt. They'll go 30, 40, 50, 60 years old, still being in debt. 63% of millennials, $10,000 in debt, right? 48% of millennials, $20,000 in debt. 34% of millennials are, and add an, add an extra 10,000, are $30,000 plus in debt, okay? So understand that. This is the belief, build your belief level in the industry that we're in. Build your belief level in trading. Build your belief level in what you're a part of. You got to understand the, this data. All right. Game of loans. I know we have some Game of Thrones fans here, but definitely <laughs> this is a, is a funny photo. Game of loans. Interest is coming. All right. Just, just, just a little, you know, just a little thing thrown in there. If I was at my graduation and saw that, actually, I didn't even graduate college, but graduated from high school, I would have cracked up. I swear. Okay. Game of loans. And again, I don't, I don't down college guys. I don't down education in college, right? Go to school. I just up opportunity. I say, listen, while you're doing this, have a plan B, right? Have, have a, a trading as an asset, have, you know, a, a network marketing, have iMarkets Live and be building this, this business. So eventually this business can put you in a position where, Hey, no matter what happens in the job market, the economy, there's a bubble. Oh, great. Okay, great. There's a bubble. Let that bubble keep bursting because I have a plan. Okay. I have a roadmap. I have a game plan. So this is pretty crazy. I know this is only up to 2013, but most families, even those approaching retirement, have little to no retirement savings. This is crazy. In 2013, somebody that was 56 to 61 had $17,000, average of $17,000 in their savings. That's wild. Think about it. 32 to 37 had $480 in their savings. But you start getting into that 60 year, 60 year old range. Those are some crazy numbers, right? Those are some crazy numbers. Don't you guys all agree with me? The system that we have, the trading tools and products that we have, the results that customers are seeing mixed with the network marketing residual income, we can change this. We can change this. That's what I believe. What we have, we can change this. All right, that's my mission every day. I can change these numbers. At least I can try to do my part right? By sharing this, because these numbers are crazy. This data, this data is crazy. Okay. Now this is next. Now I share this with you guys because my, one of my best friends, all right, actually he's doing very well in corporate America. He's working at Amazon. I'm sure you guys know Amazon, but he tells me every day, Julian, robots are taking over at Amazon. There's, there's young kids getting out of college. There's students come, coming here, working at Amazon. There's people who've had pensions and, and different things set up with Amazon for the last five, 10, 15 years. And these people are scared to lose their job to robots. There is robots in Amazon taking packages, taking boxes from one area to the shipment area. And, and you know, honestly are working more efficiently than sometimes lazy workers, people who are working for smaller wages. Robots will just do the task. Boom, 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 right? And get the, get the job done. The employers are like, great. They don't argue. They don't slack off. They don't sleep. You know, we don't, pay, we don't even pay the robots. We invest in it one time. So look at this. This might not affect everybody here or some of the people that you know, depending on what jobs they have, like down here in this category. But as you can see, the numbers are real. Go into your favorite fast food restaurant. Go into a bank. Less bank tellers, go into a restaurant chain, go into Panera Bread. I love Panera Bread. Now it's filled with a lot more. I literally walked into Panera Bread the other day. There was no people working at the uh, cash register. There was three electronic machines. And I was like, where, where are the people? You know, there's no, no people. Like there's one person like making, two people making the food. I'm like, what is going on? This is, this is like, wow. It's like a, uh, ghost, ghost land, you know, it's like a, a place that's like been deserted, but like some technology, right? I robot. This, this is crazy. Algorithms, technology. Um, it's just like a funny, funny little picture. But the fact is, is like, you know, leverage technology instead of being leveraged by it, right? We capitalize off algorithms. Our trading products are algorithms. We're a technology trading company. We're the number one technology trading education company in the world. 
right? Do not be leveraged by technology. Leverage technology. This should be an eye opener uh, for, for a lot of you guys, whether you're new to trading, new to network marketing, new to business. Guys, leverage technology, okay? Leverage technology. So some of you guys know this. I'm going to go over briefly though. You know, some of you guys need to be refreshed. Even I need to, even I need to be refreshed at times, okay? The industries that we're in. I'm like, you know, if, if I get too caught up, I'm like, man, I'm blessed. I'm grateful. I'm blessed. I'm grateful that I'm in these industries. If you guys are blessed and grateful, just type, just type three, three, three. If you guys are blessed and grateful to be in these industries, you guys feel like trading, you can benefit trading. You can progress network marketing, network marketing. You can, you can progress. If you guys agree, type three, three, three. If you agree, type three, three, three. I feel like I can be a rapper on this mic over here. All right. So network marketing, network marketing, low overhead, no employees, leverage efforts of others. All right. Globally, globally. I'm going to Columbia tomorrow. That's globally. All right. To do a, a week and a half, two week tour tax advantages. I'll go over that briefly. You guys are going to want to stay tuned until the end. Cause I'm going to go over some crazy stuff. I, I did it on a previous seven figure mentorship call. I talked about taxes, but I'm talking about something that you guys need to understand if you guys do not understand it already. Okay. Time freedom, residual income, unlimited income potential. Okay. And take advantage of technology. Okay. And then we have trading. Most of you guys know this, of course, largest financial market in the world. Anyone, can, any, anyone, anyone can participate, leverage algorithms and technology like we do. Okay. Open 24 hours, five days a week and 24 seven for crypto, low transaction costs, freedom to trade from anywhere, beaches, dorms, wherever you're at. And you can make money in any economic condition. Guys, here's a secret. Who cares if there's a bubble coming in a sense, right? I mean, it kind of sucks that things are being inflated and this and that and the bubble, right? But whether the market's up or down, we can make money trading, okay? Whether, no matter what's going on in the market, you can still make money trading, okay? If you follow the educators in IML, they can teach you this is what to look for, right? This, this is the volume, right? This is the support. This is the resistance. This is what's happening, the higher highs, lower. This is what you're looking for in the market. This, take the trade. You can take the trade. This is a trade idea, right? Or you can analyze yourself. It doesn't matter what market conditions though. It doesn't matter. So that builds our belief in trading because who knows what's going to happen in the next two, three, four years. I was about to buy um, a real estate investment property. And one of my friends owned as a broker in Miami said, Julian, do not buy this property right now. Wait until about the next one, two, three years, probably, probably two years. He's like, you're going to see something crazy happen. I'm hearing from all my millionaire and billionaire friends that this is coming. Something is imminent. Right. So understand that but we, we can make money in any market condition. OK. And entrepreneurship. OK. On top of everything, most people know that I'm an entrepreneur before I'm just a network marketer or a trader, because in order to because become successful as an entrepreneur and a trader or as a network marketer and a trader for the long run, you need to have an entrepreneur mindset. You need to have an entrepreneur mindset. Otherwise, You'll end up quitting both. I don't care if you say, I'm a trader, I'm a trader. You know, oh, I don't need to know, know about business and this and that. And no, you need to understand the fundamentals of entrepreneurship so you can stay around and last as a trader. Network marketers, the reason why network marketers, some network marketers are not here anymore, they make six and seven figures, they're not here anymore, is they don't understand the basics, the fundamentals of being an entrepreneur. That's why I've been around since eight, from 18 to now. And I've seen people who have made money, poop, adios, goodbye, say la vie, right? So understand entrepreneurship, create your own destiny, make a difference. We're making a difference here at IML, create your own income. All right. Reap nice profits from trading, uh, from capital gains, from investments, from, you know, a passive income, contribute to society, help give back. I mean, I see people, you know, that even have left network marketing in the past. They say, man, I'm, I, you know, I, I, I have my entrepreneur blood boiling. I need to get back in the industry. I, you know, I just love entrepreneurship, right? So they get back to contribute to society and to contribute to other people and to give back, right? Because entrepreneurs, we can do that, right? Or at least if you are if you are an entrepreneur and not a wantapreneur, right? You should want to give back. You should want to contribute your knowledge, your your influence, you know, future like profits and money and and and, cap and gains. You should you should want to share that, right? And contribute to society, okay? And of course, be around like of people. If you work a job, unfortunately, or maybe you work a job or like when I worked a job, 
unfortunately, not, not you work a job, unfortunately. When I worked a job, unfortunately, I was around people that didn't think like me. I was around people who were negative all the time. I was around people who didn't have what I wanted. I was, I was following a boss that was bossing people instead of leading people, okay? So with iMarkets Live, every time you come to a convention, you're around like-minded people. Every time you get to a event, regional, we're, we're, we're in, in my, come to Miami, you're around like-minded people. You know, this industry, entrepreneurship, it, entrepreneurship's about being around like-minded people, okay? Because you grow, right, when you're around like-minded people, okay? So share that belief and breakthrough with others. Guys, share that belief and breakthrough with others, right? So when you go through your breakthrough, when you attach emotionally to something, you share that with others. You share that story. Now, some of you guys need to really figure out your story. You guys need to create your story. Some th things have happened in your life to you, but you don't share that because maybe you're scared. You know, you don't want to expose yourself, right? You don't want to expose yourself. But I'll, but, I'll, but I'll tell you guys firsthand, be be, be in a position to expose yourself. I, I, I forgot the word, but be, be in a position where you're like, listen, this is my story. Let it out, right? Let it out. Let the world know what you've gone through, the challenges, failures, things that you've been through to get to where you're at right now, the trades that you've lost, the people that you've lost in business, the people you had to se separate from in order to have success, okay? And then share your belief. Of course, all the screenshots I went through, all the data, that's great. But back it up with stories. Back it up with things that you've gone through. Back it up with stories of people around you, people that you know. Who do you know right now that's in debt? Who do you know that's lost a job? Who do you know that is stressing out about finances? Who do you know is in these situations? And what story can you then share with other people? All right. So next some strategies to do this week to increase your belief level. Now, these strategies are for true entrepreneurs and traders only. I say that because maybe you're new to the business. Maybe you're still getting your getting your, uh, the grasp around trading and network marketing. You know, it's a lot, to, a lot to take in. You know, I'll tell you, becoming a professional network marketer, really becoming a professional, wasn't even when I earned my first million dollars. I earned my first million dollars in network marketing by the age of like 21 years old. I don't say that to brag to you guys, but I tell you guys, I wasn't even a, really a professional there. I had just done a lot of work, done a lot of work, done a lot of work and got results for doing all that work. But becoming a professional took time. And some of you guys right now, we're just trying to grasp everything, right? Or some of you guys have been in the business for a while or been trading for a while or start, are, are, are trying to still grasp everything. I'll tell you, keep on grasping, but do not get too overwhelmed because entrepreneurship, trading, business, it's a process. Okay, five year plan, 10 year plan, 15 year plan, not a one week, one month, two month, three month, one year plan. Think long term. Okay, think visionary, visionary, visionary. People say visionary. I'm a, I'm a freaking visionary. No, you're a talker. You just say I'm a visionary, but you're not really a visionary. Okay, that's that's how some people are. Not 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 you guys. You guys are all visionaries. I, I, I believe it. Let's go. Okay. Strategies to do this week to increase your belief level though. Now, again, this is like a little more strategy, guys. So, so stick with me, all right? If you plan to make big money trading and in this business, set yourself up as a business. If you guys plan to make money trading in this business, drop some dollar signs in the chat. If you guys plan to make big money trading and big money through the network marketing side, just stay awake, get aware, wherever you're at in the world, maybe you're on your phone, just drop some money signs in the chat. You know, put it put it out there into existence. You plan to make big money trading and in this business. You know, you got you got to set yourself up as a business. You need to set yourself up as a business. When I did this, the reason why I tell you guys this is from my experience. I had my personal bank account right for two years or whatever I had. No, no, for one for one year, and I was making a little bit of money. Making a little bit of money. My mentor told me, Julian. Get set up as a business, get incorporated, get your business bank account, you know, get your business credit cards, get your business debit card with your business on it, with your business name. I said, I, but I, I, why? Like, you know, it costs a little bit of money to set up a corporation. I have to call my CPA and it's a process. When I set myself up as a business, I incorporated myself. The next two years, I made that million dollars in two years. A million dollars went through my business account, went through my business account. 
I think being in a business, like having, having my business name, Lifestyle Consulting LLC, I had Exotic Lifestyle, you know, uh, LLC. Like I have my business accounts, contact your CPA. I'm not a, I'm not a CPA myself, but I contacted my CPA. I got set up. It put me in this mindset. You know, we believe in iMarkets Live. We're always, we're always saying, right, David and Monique and other leaders, act as if you already are. Act as if you already are chairman. Act as if you already are a trader. Well, guess what? If you're already a trader, you're pulling in capital gains. If you already are a chairman, you're, pu you're, you're pulling in at least $2,500 per week into your pay -lution. Boom, 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 boom. As a chairman, act as if you already are, right? If you can set yourself up as a business, do it. Incorporate yourself. Get that official business debit card. It says your business on it, right? With your business name, right? You walk into it. It's your name. Now you're talking to a business banker instead of a personal banker. It's different. Helps you level up. It gets you into that entrepreneur mindset. Now, all of you guys do not need to do that. I'm just telling you guys what I did, okay? So all business expenses, profits, capital gains, pollutions, all of that goes into that account. Personal stuff, going out, you know, unrelated to business, that can still stay in your personal. Now, I'm going to look a little bit in depth here, guys. Hopefully, you guys can stick with me here, right? Now, adjusting your paycheck tax withholdings to keep more money in your bank account, more money for trading. Now, if you're out of the U.S., not really quite sure how this works in every single country. Um, but in the U.S., all right, you get a W-4 if you have a job. Again, if you have a job, that's great. I want you guys to utilize this information for not just your own benefits, but for the people that you talk to's benefits, for your prospects' benefits. I have some of my members on my team doing this, and they're literally opening people's eyes to the fact that they've been losing out on money. Most people, what, what's most people's rejection when they're talking to you about maybe join the business? Oh, you know, I don't have money to get started. You know, it's, it's a little bit too much for me monthly. It's may, maybe an added expense. Well, guess what? Understand, adjust your W-4. My man, you're actually paying the government or a woman. Listen, you're probably paying the government more money by not having your W-4 set up correctly. And if there's any people that are CPAs in here, understand this. I mean, you can also uh, probably understand as well that, you know, guys, to adjust your withholdings, it's pretty simple. Again, if you work a job, you need to submit a new W-4 form to your employer, giving the new amounts to be withheld. If too much tax is being taken from your paycheck, increase the number of allowances on your W-4. If too little is being taken, decrease the allowed amount. So the people that are setting this up have their CPAs do this. But they're literally getting anywhere, some, some of the members are getting anywhere between $100 to $300. So instead of getting a large chunk, a large tax return at the, you know, at the end of the year or whatever, they're getting, they're actually keeping more money throughout the year, right? So instead, of, so, so instead of getting it all taken out and getting a large chunk, you're able to actually put that money to work throughout the year. So when somebody says, oh, I don't have 200 bucks a month, listen, I might be able to help you free up. $200 per month with the money that you're already making. This is huge because then it eliminates people's excuse of I don't have enough money. It's like, listen, I'm going to help you actually take the money that you're already making and clear up, you know, maybe even, you know, uh, 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 bring up an extra hundred to 300 bucks per month. You can take and you can trade with it. You know, you can, you know, uh, pay for the products every month, you know, under, understand these things, guys, understand these things. And if you have a job right now and did not know this, you could take that money and put it into your trading account. Why are you going to let the IRS, straight up, why are you going to let the IRS hold on to money that you could be trading with? Maybe this is too deep for some of you guys. I, ho I hope not. But why are you going to let the IRS hold on to money that you could be putting to work? The IRS is putting it to work. The IRS is doing different things with it. The IRS is holding it, right? As traders, with the financial company that we're in, with the financial education that we have, why, again, let me ask you a question. Why would you not be putting that money to work? Why would you let somebody else hold on to it? There's two things that are, you know, for sure in life, death and taxes. Well, if we can help more people put their money to work, all right, through the markets and with the money that they're already making, even when they're working a job so they can eventually get out of a job by trading, by residual income, why would you not share the information, right? Why would you not share the information? So adjust your paycheck tax you're holding. You guys can screenshot this. You know, contact the CPA, set it up correctly. Um, we'll definitely be able to guide you through 
the proper and let you know how much, if it's possible for you, et cetera. Okay. So guys, there's no reason you cannot build your belief level, uh, belief. I said, believe, all right, your belief level and the belief level of your team with this information. There's no reason why you can't do this. Okay. Guys inject yourself with this business. Okay. Inject yourself with this business, inject yourself with trading. All right. Enjoy the process. Fall in love with progress. Enjoy the process. Fall in love with progress. All right. Inject yourself with the vision of chairman. All right. A lot of people say, oh, I, I, want, I want to go chairman. I want to go chairman. I want to go chairman, 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 chairman. They scream, they shout, they jump up and down. Right. Like Alex Warren's in, uh, excuse me, Argentina right now. People are jumping up and down. You know, I hope the people jumping up and down are serious about going chairman. Because I'll tell you about myself. When, when I get all in on something, I go crazy. I go loco. I go insane. There's nothing in my way. When you go crazy, you should go loco, insane, wild, ridiculous. Let's get it. No matter what it takes. No. I have to hop on IML TV this time. I have to talk to this person. I have to talk to this person. I have to do more calls, more meetings, three to five meetings a day. I have to do this. I have to get to this event. Great. Let's do it. Because sacrificing right now is going to put me in a position where I didn't just talk about it. I walk it like I talk it. And I'm walking on stage with my chairman ring, right? Going on a chairman trip, you know, doing the things that chairman do, traveling, time, freedom, all that jazz. So you, need, you guys need to inject yourself this year, okay? You need to inject yourself because as the company is, it's 85,000, 85,000 customers. Last year, 170 million in sales. Guys, Amway is doing $8.6 billion in sales. And we have, in my opinion, the ability to change more lives, right? So on the way to, let's just say, even the billion dollar mark as a company, where can you be on the way to the billion dollar mark, right? You can be in a position where you take advantage of the market, take advantage of the two new executives that partner with iMarkets Live, take advantage of everything. As you're injecting yourself, two, two new executives came in, boom, injection, all right? 85,000 customers were just announced, injection, all right? Possibly new corporate Campus, campus headquarters, you know, somewhere, all right, in, in Florida or New York or somewhere being talked about. Okay, great, injection. Everything's leveling up. The question is, are you ready to level up? Are you ready to inject yourself? Are you ready to have that breakthrough? Are you ready to go all in? Or are you ready to talk, 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 talk? You know, my personal goal, my personal commitment, I'll, I'll tell you guys, some people doubt, oh, Chairmen aren't traders. Chairmen, uh, listen, a lot of chairmen are traders. I, I had a $7,000 withdrawal in December. I'm not telling you guys that to brag, but I'm saying as a chairman, I need to get on even more of the products. I, I, need, to, I need to inject myself with even more of the products, right? On top, of talking, on top of talking to more and more and more and more and more and more people per day, social media, offline, online, I need to inject myself more with the products that we have. My team's been on levels. We're going crazy. Team's been on Gold Cup. We're going crazy, right? We're blowing up. We got Colombia popping. We got Europe popping, right? Because you know I'm injecting myself. Our team's injecting themselves with the products and going all in, right? So whether you're a chairman on this call, whether you're a P150, a P600, P whatever, new person in the business, inject yourself with everything this company has to offer. All right and go on, make, go all in and make that decision. All right. So really appreciate you guys. I could really be going all night. I want to make it straight and to the point because at the end of the day, we could talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk for days. I want you guys to execute. I want you guys to take what you hear on these calls and execute. I want you guys to get, get back to trading tonight, mark, mark up some charts and take some trades. All right. Look at, look at, look at, you know, look at the trades and trade with your team. All right. Make sure your team eats. Everybody eats, right? Darwin, all these guys say, everybody eats. Make sure your people eat. All right, 85,000 customers. The next wave of chairmen have not even joined the company yet. They're out there. They're out there. Attract them. Attract them. Let's work. So, guys, connect with me on Instagram. Connect with me on social media. Instagram, shoot me a message. I, I'm, I'm glad to help. I don't care what team you're on, what organization you're on. You know, I'm sometimes running social media calls for some other team to help them understand social media marketing, Instagram, et cetera. I don't have all the time in the world to do that. But listen, if you reach out, I'm glad to send you guys some information, glad, not some information, but some education to help you guys rank up and level up with your business, with your life. 
I'm just through my experience. I can only teach you. I'll be straight up honest. I can only teach you what I've done. I can only teach you what I've gone through. I can only teach you from my failures and my experiences. Okay. So I'm going to teach you everything that I know. Learn from David Monitier. Learn from Ivan Tapia. Learn from Alex Morton. Learn from the top leaders. All right. Learn from Jason Brown. Learn from Matt Rose. Reach out to Chris Terry. Connect with all the influencers, all of the educators, all of the traders, all the chairmen in iMarkets Live. Connect with everybody. The most successful people that join this business, what I see them do in month one is connect with as many people possibly they can. Right? Scotty Huss, one of my chairmen here in, in Miami, that's going to Chairman 25 soon, connected with Chris Terry and said, Chris Terry, you will see me walking on the stage as a chairman. That was like 17 months ago. He walked on stage as a chairman. He put it out there. And now it's almost like keeping yourself accountable. Write, your, write the people that you're in business with. Write the people that are your upline, your success mentors, right? Above you, right? Write them and be like, hey, listen, you don't really know me too well right now. Just got in the business, just started training, but you will know me. Hey, IML educator, listen, you will know me. I will shake your hand in Dallas, right? Hey, chairman, I will shake your hand. I, I, I will get a picture. We'll, we'll get a video from you. I will learn from you. I will walk the stage from you one day. Walk the stage with you one day, okay? So make that decision okay so definitely definitely um appreciate y'all got uh y'all y'all again for hopping on you know if you guys got some value out of this just drop some comments drop some love drop some energy i definitely appreciate that i mean i, I kind of went all in tonight for you guys hope you guys got some nuggets from it all i want you guys to do is apply all i want you guys to do is apply 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 so you guys can level up and rank up. That's why I'm in business. That's why I'm an entrepreneur. I do this still because I love to see people win. The money's great. The money's great. I, I, I have income streams in different places. That's great. I do network marketing. I do IML. I do this business. I love Chris Terry. I love leadership. I have friends in this company and I love to see people freaking win and have their breakthrough. So guys, have a great night. Thank you so much. Let's dominate this week. Anything you guys need, reach out. Let's get it. Take care, guys.